Come in! Come in! Mayday! I'm losing your transmission! I said french fries! Sorry, Grandpa. You're about to be out of service. Futurized fast food arrives in California. We'll tell you all about it coming up. ABB Robotics is revolutionizing fast food with Burger Bots, an automated restaurant concept launched in California. Featuring ABB's IRB 360 Flex Picker and Yumi Collaborative Robot, Burger Bots delivers made to order burgers in just 27 seconds. The compact robotic system automates everything from topping selection to final assembly using QR codes and real time inventory tracking to ensure accuracy and hygiene. By handling repetitive kitchen tasks, BurgerBots claims the robots free staff to focus on customer service. Wow, that means you might actually find a clean table. Aside from grungy counters, another issue fast food grapples with is its high turnover rate. You know the saying, 1 billion served, 100 billion workers you'll never see again? Well, these robots are bolted down so they can't quit, nor steal from the cash register on their way out the door. With these advances, it's clear that BurgerBots is leading the way for future restaurants. They demonstrate how robots in kitchens and behind the bar are changing fast food with faster, more consistent, and reliable results. And reliable results demand dependable products that deliver. Let's check one out in our premier product highlight, sponsored by Mauser Electronics. The Delta C2000 Plus Series Vector Control Drive offers precise speed, torque, and position control for both sensor and sensorless motors. It supports power up to 560 kilowatts with a user-friendly interface, multiple language display, and IP66 protection. Key features include a real-time clock, copy function for easy parameter transfer, and user-defined parameter groups. With built-in PLC functions and protocol support, it ensures flexible system integration. The Delta C2000 Plus Series Vector Control Drive is designed for heavy-duty and consistent torque applications and excels in all of these industries. Experience advanced automation with the C2000 Plus Series by visiting mauser.com or clicking the link below. Understanding micro-proximity detectors is key for designing precise, compact, and efficient sensing systems in automation and electronics. To learn more, we present David's Corner. Thanks, Andy. The detection of the position of something is really important for feedback in the control system, but how do we detect the position of all these different kinds of things? Well, that's really what we rely on sensors for. Sometimes these large proximity sensors are made for the detection of an object across a conveyor belt, or the position of an arm when it's being moved back and forth. But for small components, like pneumatic cylinders, or the tiny increments of an encoder, we really need to detect the position, but it's on a much smaller scale. And for that, we use this classification of detectors that are called micro-detectors, usually micro-proximity sensors. This style of micro-proximity sensor, which is rectangular, is very often found inside the edge of a pneumatic actuator, like a robot gripper or a pneumatic cylinder. They can detect the inside of the cylinder once it reaches an end stop position. Uh, sometimes these are called micro-switches. It can sometimes work on optical detection, which means a reflection of light on an object. But obviously that wouldn't work on a pneumatic cylinder, which is made out of metal. It's not transparent. We can't see what's happening inside of it. So those would be magnetic or reed switch proximity sensors. For some other kinds of proximity sensors, I mentioned the encoder. This tiny sensor uses light to detect the transitioning edges of an encoder disk or an encoder strip that's moving back and forth in front of it. Since these are so small, they're called micro switches and micro proximity switches, but the signals that are used are the same as for large ones. On both of these sensors, we see our familiar brown, black, and blue wires that indicate power plus a negative and a sensor output that can go to a control system just like any other sensor in our controls, except they're a whole lot smaller than most of the proximity sensors. They're designed for very specific contexts and situations, and we have to be able to select the right ones to know how to design an effective control system. Andy, back to you. Are you a smart bite or smart bit? 
and our Smart Bit Quiz will showcase two components available from Mauser.com, and you must match the right product to each question. The questions are scored using actuator output percentage. At the end, you'll see if you're a Smart Bite or Smart Bit. Juna, can you please introduce the products? Sure thing, Andy. First up is the Diodes Incorporated AL5887Q, a 36-channel I-squared CSPI LED driver that powers 12 RGB modules with 12-bit PWM, built-in power saving, and thermal control. Next is the AMS Osram IR Cineos P2720 SFH4795BS, high-power LEDs built for efficient infrared lighting with a true 60-degree beam angle and a slim, clear silicone package. Thank you, Juna. Okay, the first question is worth 25 percentage points. Here we go. Which does the AMS Osram IR Cineos feature? Is it A, IR6 thin film chip technology, or B, high energy consumption? The answer is A, IR6 thin film chip technology. These LEDs actually have low power consumption. Okay, next question for another 25%. Which does the Diodes Inc. AL5887Q feature? Is it A, tight 3% current accuracy, or B, tight 4% current accuracy? The correct answer is A, 3% current accuracy. All right, the last question is worth 50%, here we go. Which product is better suited for biometric applications? Is it A, Diodes Inc. AL5887Q, or B, AMS Osram IR Cineos? The answer for 50% is B, the AMS Osram IR Cineos. The AL5887Q is suited for automotive applications. How did you do? Are you a smart bite or a bit? Well, keep tuning in for another chance to play. You can find out more about these reliable devices by visiting mauser.com or clicking the links below. Be sure to check out our other shows. Thanks for tuning in.